Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining us in the studio, Pemba Sherpa from the Sherpa Foundation and also Sherpa Painting right here in the Vale Valley. Pemba, how are you? Namaste. Nice Mark. to see you. Nice Thanks for coming you. in again. Thank you very so much. So we spoke about a year ago or so um, about the amazing work that you and the Sherpas around the world um, with the Sherpa Foundation are, are working to kind of rebuild the homes back in Nepal from this devastating earthquake. Absolutely. Uh, first, thank you very much, TV8, and all the information that you guys are helping to share for the fundraise events and so forth. Yes, we have uh, established this Sherpa Foundation in the mountains, Vail Valley uh, of Colorado, to, to connect the mountain to mountain um, field right. between Nepal and here. Um, so far, we have um, reached out to the communities here, and the communities reach out to us, and, and not only the, the communities here in the valley, but I also um, reach out to the Sherpa communities that are living around the world um, to help rebuild in the community centers, monasteries, and so forth in the country. That how was is, devastated and how has the process been going? Tell us about it, because uh, it was devastation. I think you said over 850,000 yes. homes and, and businesses and buildings were completely damaged or demolished during yes. that earthquake. The uh, total number of homes and families that are devastated are over 800,000 homes uh, in the nation. Uh, infrastructures are damaged heavily. Um, we have over um, close to 10,000 lives were lost. Wow. Uh, historical wow. buildings to families, house and in the remotest area of Nepal. And oftentimes the poorest family have the poorest built house and that's what most damages are. And being a local and having born and raised in the Everest region of Nepal as a uh, real ethnic Sherpa, that I know the background of Nepal much better and the family's needs much better and where it is. Uh, so we, were, we have been very effective, although it's a lot of work uh, for us to lead, um, to do all this um, as a small organization right. that is uh, committed to do, deliver the funds 90 plus percent on the ground. Whereas most cases, 90 plus percent of the fund seems to go to overhead expenses and salaries, and that's not my goal. So you're you're raising money with the foundation, and then some of the money doesn't show up on time. Correct. During the building process, so yeah. like you said off camera, sometimes things can get put on hold temporarily. Yes. So we need to keep the funds flowing Correct. to keep the building moving forward. I want to mention briefly. Um, you received, the Sherpa Foundation received a Medal of Honor yes. because of all this amazing work that you all have done. So tell us about that. Correct. Um, what really happened is at the beginning of the time, we wanted to uh, deliver the fund correctly. So to do it correctly, we had, to do, we had to hide below the radar from the government because the government may take the funds and put it into the government's fund to distribute as a nation. Okay. And so we were doing it ourselves with a volunteer group of people that were going from Colorado to Is Nepal. Is receiving the Medal of Honor? Yep, that is the, uh, prime Minister, the president of Nepal, the first female president of Nepal, uh, awarding me for the Medal of Honor. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Of course. And, um, so when you build, um, you know, regardless of how uh, corrupted the country's government system is, if you do the jobs correctly, you do get awarded. So this is a prime example, like Nepal has such a problem in many ways, but you commit it, you, you do it, it's hard to hide when you right. build that many homes and right. help that many families. So the word gets from one person to the crowd and to the nation. So this is a prime example. So most importantly, I, I, we, we as a small foundation organization here in the Valley based everything on volunteer base. For, for me, my goal is to let people out there who are generously giving to improve the lives around the world to know that we exist, right. that we exist to do exactly what they have in their minds, to have the funds go directly to the, to the ground. So for people that if they're watching right now, they want to become involved, what's probably the, the easiest way to go about doing that? Would you recommend? You can visit us on SherpaFoundation.org online. There's a donation tab or mail a check. We have all the information on SherpaFoundation.org online or Facebook page. Okay. So the, either way, you can do that, and we are 100% committed to do everything we can to deliver the funds correctly. And then on June the 29th, tell us about this event right here. So this is our third annual event uh, in Eagle Vale community, in the Vale community again. We're raising funds 
we have a Sherpa from uh, Nepal, climber, legendary climber, who have submitted 10 times. Tashi Sherpa is going to be there. Dr. John Kodrowski will be there as our board member, as mm -hmm. you, you guys know. Uh, we'll continue to raise fund again to continue the flow of building and helping the families in needs. And we have not only reached the victims of earthquake, but we have reached families that have devastated from earthquake, um, fire, okay. and flood victims, and, and community centers and monasteries and many other things that okay. we reach out as they need it, and the community requests us. Okay. Pemba, thank you very Thank much. you. Yeah, please come and join on the 29th. We have a complimentary Nepalese curry dinner there. Mm, we have there. a slideshow okay. of Nepal. Um, we have a um, presentation about Nepal Trek, volunteer opportunities. Okay. So please come Got and it. join us. Got it. You heard it right from Pamba. Put the check yes. in the mail today. Uh, we're going to take it to Ashley next. She has a look at your weather forecast for the rest of the weekend.